In the video, I'm going to show you how to siphon transmission fluid out of your transmission. Uh, if you only need just a little bit out and you're not doing a, a flush or a change or um, replacing all of it, I just needed to get 10 ounces of transmission fluid out. So I didn't want to drop the pan, make a big mess, uh, lose some, spill some, put it all back together. Uh, I just needed 10 ounces. I was putting a, a transmission fluid additive in. Uh, so I needed to extract it and also measure how much I took out. So I knew that it was 10 ounces because I was putting 10 ounces back in. Uh, I'm going to describe to you my setup. Uh, and then I'll show you a short video of everything in action. Uh, you'll need a shop vac, a pop bottle. Uh, I used clear vinyl tubing. Uh, it was 0 0.170 inches in diameter. Uh, duct tape. And I used a, a wood clamp or a quick clamp. Uh, you probably won't need that if you're not making a video to show it in action. Uh, first thing I did, uh, take your transmission fluid dipstick out, stick the vinyl tubing down there, uh, take the shop vac hose off, stick the vinyl tubing into the shop vac, put the pop bottle in the shop vac, duct tape it to the wall of the shop vac, run the vinyl tubing into the pop bottle, tape the Opening in the shop vac where the vinyl tubing is at, uh, tape that to seal it up. Does not have to be a perfect seal. The better, uh, the better it seals, the better your vacuum will work. But for my purposes, I just just secured it. Uh, you'll see in the video. Um, and then I let it run. It ran, got about one ounce per minute, probably. I let it run for 10 or 15 minutes, and I got um, uh, my my 10 ounces or so. Uh, it wasn't exact, but it was it was pretty good. If you need it to be exact, this keeps it nice and clean. All of the fluid goes into the pot bottle, um, and then you can measure it afterwards if you want. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. This should be a, a, a pretty pretty simple fix.